Today I'm going to show you how to generate an image in ChatGPT and also how to correct any text errors in that image. Let's go straight into GPT-4. Remember, Dolly is working behind the scenes, so all we need to do is type in the command. Now, nine times out of ten, when you ask ChatGPT to generate an image, it does a great job with the image. However, the text that usually accompanies it is worthless. It's usually so bad that you cannot use the image, or it might contain one or two words that have been repeated, one or two letters that have been repeated. But I'm going to show you today how to edit this. So let's give it a few more seconds. So it actually did get robotics for dummies. That's not bad, ChatGPT. Not bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. Okay, it actually did very well. I think it's doing a lot better these days. So create with the text. In this next instance, I can almost wager $20 <laughs> that there's going to be something off in the text. So let's take a look and program manager. The M is suspicious. Okay, it's not bad, but it's suspicious. So we're going to tidy that M up, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're just going to download the image. That's step one. Step two, we are going into Canva. And let's get a blank screen open there in Canva. I am going to drag what was done into Canva. So let's drag that right in. And let's make it big to fill the screen. Now we're done. Let's take a closer look at this. You can see the M is off. So we're going to use a feature in Canva which allows for editing text. Just click on the image, click Edit Photo, and use the Grab Text functionality. Click on that, and it's going to render this text in such a way that you can change the font, you can change the letters, becomes more manageable. And you can do this for any image that you've had issues with in the past, because I've had so many issues, but now these can be tidied up with this great functionality. So up we go, and there you have it. That horrible text is now looking more coherent, even without me doing anything to it. If I wanted to change it further, I could click in there and change it further. But all I would do now is just save my work, download, choose whatever format, whether it's PNG, JPEG, or what have you, download. And it'll download it, and that's it. And your image would have been corrected.